Hello everyone, welcome to the Storyteller Fox. Let's begin our story time, either it be for bedtime stories or just simply to relax to audio storybooks. You can listen to a story with us at the Storyteller Fox. Today's book is titled The Magic Pear Tree. It's a fairy tale um, storybook that comes from a Chinese traditional story. It's one of the traditional ta ta tales called The Magic Pear, retold by Rosalie Dickens and illustrated by Matt Ward. Read aloud by the Storyteller Fox. The Magic Pear Tree a folk tale from China. This story is about selfish Shen, a hungry beggar, a kind woman, some yummy pears, and a little bit of magic. Shen lived in a little house with a big garden. There was a tree in the garden. The tree grew sweet golden pears. There were too many pears for Shen, but he didn't want to share them. I'll sell them at the market, he thought. I'll make lots of money. So Shen took a box of pears to the market. Pears for sale! Pears for sale! Pears for sale! He bellowed. A beggar stopped to look. Please, may I have a pear? He said. Can you pay? Asked Shen. I don't have any money, said the beggar. Then go away, shouted Shen. A kind woman heard Shen shouting. Can't you give away one pair? She asked Shen. That man is hungry and you have enough to share. No, shouted Shen. Then I'll buy a pair and give it to him myself, said the woman. Thank you, said the beggar. That's kind of you. He ate the pear quickly. He spat out the seeds. Ooh! Yum, he said happily. Now it's my turn to give you a pear. Aha, cried Shen. Do you, you do have money? No, said the beggar. The woman shook her head. How will you get another pair? The beggar smiled. I'll show you, he said. A crowd came to watch. The beggar dug a hole and dropped in the seeds. May I have some hot water, he said. A tea seller gave him a teapot. The beggar poured hot tea into the hole. The crowd gasped. Look! A shoot! They cried. The shoot grew and grew. It must be magic! It grew into a tree with green leaves and golden pears. 
The beggar picked a pear and gave it to the woman. Mmm, yummy, she said happily. The beggar turned to the crowd. Does anyone else want a pear? Me, 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 they shouted. The beggar picked pear after pear. Soon the tree was bare. Everyone got one, even selfish Shen. Mmm, yummy. Now, no one was watching the beggar. He chopped down the tree and strolled away. Suddenly, Shen looked around. All his pears had gone, and their wooden box was chopped to pieces. It was a trick, he yelled. Those pears the beggar picked, they were mine. The beggar turned my magic box into a tree by magic. That crafty beggar. But the crowd just laughed. Next time, perhaps you'll be less selfish, they said. The end. The end. And that's the end of our story time. For more bedtime stories, you can check on our YouTube playlist or listen to more story time compilations at the Storyteller Fox. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.